I put on my blank colored hood when I went to the rally tonight. Well, what, what, what color hood is that? Mm, is it purple? No, green? No, it starts with it starts with W. It's five letters. Oh, white! I wore a white hood to my rally tonight. Welcome back to the Jack Sparrow channel. I am, of course, Jack, and today I want to talk to you about crossword puzzles. Yes, crossword puzzles. You know, those things with the boxes that you put the like the letters in, they crisscross, you make words, you know, uh, something like, you know, peanut butter and blank sandwich, and you're like, oh, hey, uh, five letters starts with J. Well, that means I can't say, you know, preserves, marmalades out jams out oh how about jelly yeah jelly yeah um you know i wore a brown blank on my head today oh uh, what could that be a uh, shirt no uh socks no no it's only three letters oh how about a boot no that's brown too but how oh yeah hat i wore a brown hat today So, you know, those things, they keep people, older people's minds kind of sharp because they're working their mind and, you know, blah, 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 blah. But apparently they, uh, they have found, now, some person with no actual evidence given whatsoever has discovered that studies show that a uh, majority of crossword puzzles are made by, made by older white men and that's problematic and racist and all that stuff i can keep going with the fingers all day because it's where are they coming up with this crap they just pull this stuff out of their butt and they just because not because of what they put in but because of what they leave out oh i'm sorry they're not tickling somebody's you know they're not tickling somebody's fancy at the moment. It's like, oh, well, the uh, uh, the uh, marginalized group du jour isn't getting you know represented in today's crossword puzzles because they're t too busy talking about hats, jelly, and, you know, whatever else. And they're not talking about, oh, the different freaking, you know, there's not a crossword puzzle dedicated solely to the, you know, 50 different freaking genders. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, or obscure freaking holidays from some tribe, you know, in the middle of, you know, Africa. I'm have a nice day, man. And I send you all my love on this sparkling day. It's your day. Many happy returns. Well, uh, thank you. Ring in the peace, senior. And a goodbye. Or, you know, Asia or something like that that they celebrate once every 50 years. It's ridiculous. It's not like you got, I mean, I could understand if it was racist. If you got, you know, uh, I mean, it's not, you don't have guys making a crossword puzzle that said, I put on my blank colored hood when I went to the rally tonight. Well, what, what, what color hood is that? Mm, is it purple? No, green? No, it starts with it starts with W, it's five letters. Oh, white, I wore a white hood to my rally tonight. Yeah, I can see where that would be an issue. And the only time you're gonna find a crossword puzzle that sounds like that is maybe at a, uh, a, a you know, a certain a clan rally in a freaking single wide trailer in the rec room of the single wide trailer in the deep south with the rest of the inbred hicks. It doesn't exist. So, Scrabble's out too. Because, you know, that's kind of an offshoot. It's kind of similar to crossword puzzles. You are making words, you know. Uh, but it's kind of similar, so that's out, right? Just by association. Yeah, I like to make words like poop and turd and booger and fart and zit. Get a lot of points for the triple word for the zit. But um, that's out. You got, you know, can't do that. <clears throat> Cut it out. And then, all right. At, while we're on it, we got to make sure to find out if there's any other offensive, you know, games that we uh, we play. Um, okay, uh, Sudoku, 
right out. That's cultural appropriation, you know? Uh, is it Sudoku or Mahjong tiles or, you know, get, throw them out, throw them out. Mahjong tiles is gone. And it's uh, cultural appropriation, can't do it. Um, Uno, yeah, Uno, you can't play that because um, that's that's the, the name of the game is offensive to Latin speaking people. That's cultural appropriation too. Um, what else do we got? What, what what games are left that we are allowed to play? Sorry, sorry, that's not okay because, okay, you gotta create new rules for sorry though. I, we can make sorry work. So, all right, if you get a sorry card, the, the, the rules on the card will say, send any player back to their start unless they're a person of color or transgender or belong to the LGBTQ plus community, unless of course you are the one in a marginalized group, and then you can send uh, any white person, a white, a straight white male back to start. Then it's okay. And you'll have to print that all on the card and you know make sure everybody knows that. So if you land on uh, the same thing, if you land on in a rule book, it'll say if you land on someone, uh, the only way you can send them back to start is if you're in a marginalized uh, group and they are not, and they, pfft, they're gone, they're gone. And then you gotta use a ranking system, so what, whichever you know marginalized group you belong to, so if you are a transgender lesbian um, you know, person of color, you're, boom, you're shot to the top, you're shot to the top. Um, and everybody else is down, you know, like filter down below somewhere. Um, I think that's a good that's a that's a good uh, outcome for that. Same goes with trouble. We could do the same thing with trouble. Monopoly, uh, monopoly money. Um, when you cross, when you you know pass go, uh, if you're a person of color or a marginalized group, then you collect two hundred dollars from every other player that is uh, that is not a marginalized group. That's a great idea. Uh, it's, we could just call instead of monopoly, we could call it reparations instead. Um, you know, uh, if you land on, if you're a person of color and land on someone that has like a hotel in the spot, you automatically get that hotel and they lose it. They have to forfeit or, you know, the, the electric company, boom, it's yours. Um, that's fair. I think that's a good idea. That's awesome. Where does this end? It never ends. It never ends. You know, you got a whole committee of unhappy, dissatisfied people sitting in a little you know, room around a rainbow table, you know, thinking of things to be unhappy. This week is crossword puzzles. Now they want to take something that you like and you're happy about. Today is crossword puzzles. Next week is going to be knitting because uh, the yarn or something looks like something or the needles or something. Oh, it's triggering and so knitting's out. The week after that is going to be like, you know, you can't collect bottle caps anymore because somebody gets triggered by that uh, or it's problematic or, you know, something. It never stops. That's why you either need to ignore these fools or mock them into oblivion. Tell them to shut up, go away. They will take everything and subvert and pervert every single thing that people love or enjoy because they are unhappy, disgusting human beings. There's nothing wrong with crossword puzzles. They are okay. <sighs> anyway, what do you think? What do you think? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Like the video. Subscribe for more content. <laughs> and um, we will talk to you another time. And you must be the Monopoly guy.